Hi, I'm going to take a few minutes today and go through the Le Mans Powered by Hoist Fitness Pro Indoor Cycle Bike. Um, I'm going to go through some key selling features for this bike, but I'm also going to go through some features that I personally love. One, you've got a really solid, sturdy frame. A couple things that makes that kind of different and unique and obvious is the X frame design. Most bikes use a cross member that comes down in the front, uh, where when you look at the, the Le Mans bikes, you can actually see the X in the frame. The whole concept of that is if I'm setting on the bike and I'm leaning forward, my body weight is centered right in the X of that frame. If I stand up, my body weight is centered in the X of the frame. So in other words, keeping my body in the center of the frame, I'm putting my weight right where the bike is at its strongest point. Um, a couple other things, um, the oval framing. If you look, uh, we actually use an oval framing in the X frame and circular framing at the bottom. The concept of that is, let's design a bike that doesn't allow sweat to collect on the frame. So if you've ever seen bikes that use rectangular framing or square framing, that's, uh, that's kind of what we're trying to get away from. Um, other things, once you actually look at the frame itself, um, before, the paint, or before the frame is ever painted, it has electro deposition coating on the steel frame itself. That helps prevent the frame from rusting over time. And then the Pro Bike has two layers of powder coat actually baked into the frame of the bike. So needless to say, extremely durable. We actually use stainless steel inserts that go through for the seat and handlebar post, again, to prevent the bike from ever rusting. Once you actually look at the drive system of the bike, we actually use a belt drive system in this bike. Now, of course, this is really nice, mainly because you can't hear any noise. Super quiet, really smooth, and even from a maintenance perspective, there's no chain to oil, a great system. But, I mean, that's pretty obvious. Once you actually look at the crank itself, we actually use forged steel. Let me move this pedal because this is one of my favorite things about the bike. Most bikes you look at just use a regular cast iron crank arm. We use a custom made forged steel crank arm and we actually taper the back side of it so when you're actually pedaling the bike, your heel doesn't rub the actual pedal arm. Really nice. Um, the bottom bracket is a BMX bottom bracket cartridge. Really easy to change out but extremely durable. Once we come up to the flywheel, we use a 49 pound machine balance flywheel. Now this is a little bit different than other flywheels. Um, you've probably seen systems that are weighted out on the outside of the flywheel in different designs. When you look at ours, you know, it's very evenly balanced. The whole concept of that is when I get on the bike, I get a very smooth rotation I get uh, just the going through this cycling motion. It's a very even rotation and the inertia is also not as high if I'm going faster and I need to stop the bike. For safety reasons, that's kind of a big deal. If you've ever been on a bike and you try to stop it and it continues pushing your body, that's kind of what I'm talking about. But on the Pro, it's a 49 pound balanced flywheel. The actual resistance system is really great. Again, I, I keep going back to maintenance things. We, uh, we use a stainless steel assembly, hardware assembly, excuse me, that goes through here. Again, to prevent rusting, kind of like the stainless steel inserts here. Uh, we actually um, use a leather resistance system. Um, it's a three inch leather pad. Uh, we found with the leather pad, it simply lasts a lot longer than the microfiber pads. Uh, and we also get a more incremental resistance change. Uh, some bikes that I've been on, when you increase the resistance, you turn it a half turn and it's a big difference. On the Le Mans bikes, you actually get a more gradual increase and a gradual decrease with the system that we use. Kind of a big deal. Now, the other thing, once you get outside of all the maintenance benefits of the bike, or I should say lack of maintenance benefits, is the adjustability. 
Um, the adjustability on this bike is really extremely broad. Um, most bikes that you look at, indoor cycle bikes, uses a pop pin or some sort of knob assembly that sets the pin in different settings up and down and then fore and aft. The big advantage of this bike, first of all I want to point out that both of these posts come straight up. You've probably seen some bikes that kind of angle out. Um, the problem with those bikes is if I make a vertical change it also gets further or closer to the user. Okay. The nice thing with this bike I can simply make a vertical adjustment here or here and I don't necessarily change the fore and aft. But the concept of this bike is to be able to have micro adjustments fore and aft and fore and aft here as well. No pop pins, really great. Now if you've ever been in um, a indoor cycle class we've all been to the bike where someone had used the bike before us and they just cranked down the knob. On the Le Mans Pro Bike, we actually use a really cool exclusive feature in what I refer to as cam levers, okay? And the way this works to actually lock your seat in place, we simply push that down. Now, as you can see, there's no way to over tighten that. Same thing for the handlebars. Over time, if you ever get slipping in the seat, because that may be something that you know a customer or a client brings up well what happens if it slips we actually have a really cool feature on this bike um, that allows me to change the positioning of the resistance system so in other words I can actually tighten this assembly or I can loosen it so if you ever have a, a customer that says hey I can't get this to go down you can simply loosen the assembly or you can tighten it over time Again, that's exclusive to the Le Mans bike. After you're finished riding, the thing that, you know, little things that you just really notice in this bike is the really cool stretch plate off of the back. And, you know, I really show that to, to a customer. You know, once you show them you've got a really cool bike that's going to last you a really long time and you can properly set it up for each person, you know, the nice thing is you have a nice stretch plate at the end of your exercise program for stretching your calves, hamstrings, um, really nice feature. Um, I'm going to get into bicycle setup, so let's actually go through that.